Yo, 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 what's up, amigos? I hope all is well. Uh, I was very super duper excited uh, when I originally did the video. I was just having a random talk with some coders uh, and thought process and how do we improve it. We are at the moment at 1.84 profit factor and I can confidently say that probably increase it to like 2.5 when we do a few things. I was super, super happy, super ecstatic. Uh, when I heard the audio, I felt so bad. I uh, just went and got a voice mod so that the quality would be better. This is basically a better quality than what you hear, and I, I, I almost feel bad and embarrassed to even upload it. Um, but if it's beneficial a little bit, it's beneficial, and uh, yeah. I just want to apologize in advance, uh, that's all. And yeah, this is something I was uh, a bit worried about sharing, but at the same time, not really, because if it helps somebody, that's awesome, it makes me happy. But I had a good conversation with someone, uh, with a friend of mine, uh, that uh, it's very interesting, that most people are very secretive about their thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's useful, it's beneficial, uh, I think I might not have mentioned, but it's at 1.84 and potentially we'll push it to 2.5, I can confidently say we'll push it that or higher. Um, and yeah, uh, the other aspect is, we have a prop firm, if you're a 7 figure trader, um, the, you are, and you are outside of the United States. The commission is 0 0.0006, so like 90% cheaper than retail. And also you get, if you provide liquidity, you get the rebates. So basically you literally get, you get paid to trade. And on top of that, we have 25% discount off locates. And on top of that, if you borrow 50K shares and you use 10K or 25K, given you don't abuse it, you only pay for the locates. So there's... Financially, it's better for a trader to be trading at the prop firm, and it's a 90% payout. Um, it's financially better and cheaper. We're getting nine uh, locate sources within a few days, too, so we're just super, super excited about that. Uh, and yeah, and it's not a marketing gig. Uh, we genuinely only have probably three to five spots left. Uh, most of the guys at the moment in the group are seven figure traders. And we kind of want to keep it that way. So if you are a seven-figure trader or six-figure, mid-six figures, six-figure plus and consistent, shoot me a DM on Twitter, Afghan Rebel, or just whatever the YouTube username is, just put it on Twitter, and then, uh, hopefully I'm the first one that pops up. And again, enjoy the video, but I do apologize for the lack of quality in the audio. But moving forward, as of three minutes ago, I just installed or bought the voice edit thing, so audio quality should be like this or better. Uh, yeah, enjoy, amigos. Hey, so I just had another idea. Um, I'm going to go over, because the audio is so bad, I'm going to go over what we talked about in brief summary. And the idea overall was uh, kind of brainstormed. So we have an AI. Uh, we brainstormed first the idea, the objective is to get the data point to a good profit factor as possible on its own with only two components, two variables. And then we talked about uh, incorporating multiple variables in the AI in the AI and letting it do better. So right now at a raw data, I believe we are at 1.74. Uh, it's one of these things here. So this was a, a bit of a long conversation uh, with Sonic, but uh, yeah, so it's at uh, 1.7. 7, 3, and then it became 1.8 when we 
added a few variables, which was the R wall. Uh, and something else, yeah. Um, so it's at 1.3, 1.73, And then we thought, how do we make it better? Then I pitched uh, nine variables that we should use to let the AI pick. And these are the nine variables. Uh, and then obviously we're going to let the AI, uh, we're going to give it the 5,000, 7,000 trades. It's going to train on half and put the other half. And just try to make it better. And the next step after that is we are going to look at all the bad execution trades and all the good execution trades and start with uh, what what rule or something I can we can add to uh, minimize the red trades. And all the same with the positive side and maximize that. Um, and the step after that, which I can hopefully confidently say is when we uh, put it much higher um, what am I doing by that? when we uh, sorry I just had a brain fart as well some thumbnails caught my eyes so the next step at right now at 1.7 1.84 when uh, we include add to the winner concept and the other variable hopefully we can push it to 2.53 in the past 16 months that i've been doing this there has been like six to eight times that i've been super excited i'm like oh found a 2.5 profit factor or three profit factor and then my soul got crushed because uh it didn't work out either there was an issue with the data or it was a bad code or bad data and one was custom fit so uh, never count the eggs until it's hatched or something like that but love you guys no homo and i genuinely feel super bad about the video being really bad quality so i figured i summarize it and you can uh, you don't have to continue to watch the video but if you want to the raw data, I'm going to put it up after this. So thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see. Put in the comments below. And uh, if it was beneficial, share it with somebody that it may help. And I wish you guys the best. One body in the heart. Well, have a wonderful day. A bit late. And so it gives back, like, gains. And it's, like, it's not too ideal. Um... Which is why, like, I think, like, your idea of, like, uh, what's it called? The average, um, the average price action charts for the past, like, X weeks. Uh, I think that that, that's, that that could be, like, really game-changing in terms of, like, oh, we can see, like, what happened, say, like, five weeks from, uh, from today. And then see, like, okay, everything's moving sideways. Maybe I should just stick out. Or, like, everything's spiking. Maybe I should just, you know... Uh, not be shorted, you know, but if everything's all dumping and it shows in the average price action chart that you can like slam it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the market cap, so basically float times price and the gap of percent, they matter. Because often it's mm -hmm. the same guys trading it. And if you could see that, hey, it starts trading at like 9.45 or 10 o'clock mm -hmm. like it does one liquidity event. Mm -hmm. then you will kind of get a head start on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted to ask, like, uh, what's it called? Um, do you have, like, a, like, a third algo in mind? Like, I, I want to, like, try to, um, uh, contribute to that if, like, there's a third one you have in mind? Or are, are these just, like, um, the two that you're mainly interested in? I think these are just the two I'm interested in, but more importantly, mm. we can make it much better. There mm. is a lot of room that for improvement. Sense. Right now, mm -hmm. we are at like 1.56, just with raw data. Mm -hmm. um, have you got an opportunity? I think, have you looked through the algo scanner room? 
I was scared of Ruru. Yes, yes, I have. And yes, you, yes. I think you also went to the GitHub, right? You read the code? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, and then also when you go through basically what we found, like which, which data is the best for all that jazz. Mm -hmm. we're, trying to make, we're trying to make it better, man. There's, there's a lot of... Yeah, uh, actually like... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of room for improvement, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually have this this thing where like um, it can add like I see that you guys have like say like thirty features, um, yeah. to optimize from. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of have something that uh can add like I think like a hundred extra features for the AI to look through. Um, and at least for me, like what I I see inside like say Gabbers or something like that, is like surprisingly the fundamental factors. Such as like shares outstanding, uh, cash, uh, cash flow, etc. Like those tend to hit hard on like oh uh, these are the things that will affect the um, the algorithm more than say um, like like say like uh, uh, volunteer band or stuff like um, basically I I kind of you know uh, scared of trade ideas yeah. Yes, basically, I kind of coded that uh, thing into like the, the thing with Jared is it can't get his historical data, right? But I was able to code it to get uh, historical data. So basically, it's going to take t trade ideas um, data and uh, put it on, say, whatever model or system that we're testing. And so we'll put that me? in and then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, By the way, I like the okay. idea of adding the variables, but I think very specific variables, such as market cap on its own, and right. so the, value, mm -hmm. rather the cash and all that stuff, that's uh, lower, because we can look at, uh, yeah, that stuff, yeah. angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, uh, what's, what's interesting, and I think you find it interesting as well, is like, when I had tested, um, um, so basically the AI, right, would do, would do analysis on like, what is uh, more impactful, say, um, flow or like, shares outstanding, which one's more, which one you should use, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you look at the shaft thing, right? Uh, for example, and I know uh, uh, I saw I, I saw in the YouTube video you guys discussed this, but um, you guys will see that like uh, in, in the chat, um, the the red bars it says time between next time breakdown is the most like, impactful. So like that that will that will override say like something like uh, VWAP at high point, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And so that it so basically what we uh, what you do is uh, you just put a whole bunch of variables for the AI to uh, look at, and then it was it would it would go through different optimizations and iterations to just uh, can I, find can the I best. Can I pick those variables? Because I have a lot in my mind, but I'm scared that it's going to be a lot of work. So I have some really cool ideas. One oh, yeah. Them... What kind? What kind? What kind of ideas do you have in okay. your mind? So the, like the, volume? Mm -hmm. the volume profile is a really cool idea for the past five days. Mm -hmm. So there's something mm -hmm. called the monkey. Everything in stocks is like a, it's a structure. For your shelf, mm -hmm. micro shelf, and all that jazz. Um, mm -hmm. But it all stems from volume is king. So, where mm -hmm. it is in, in terms of price to mm -hmm. volume, like is the volume, like where are the chunks of volume? And so that's one variable. Um, mm -hmm. Where is it in comparison to that? The other variable is uh, maybe the acceleration of uh, price movement. Uh, mm. Either yesterday. Another variable is uh, simply float value and market cap. So, which is the float multiplied by the price mm -hmm. or uh, market cap or market price. So, those two variables, nothing else from the filing. Um, mm. Another variable. Actually, let me write this down because these are good ideas that we've done here. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, one, we have volume profile levels for past five days uh, and where is it where is price action where 
share is price actually in comparison to volume profile. Number two is um, acceleration of price action on daily chart in the intraday and past few days. Example if stock on average was moving uh, 20% and one day it moved 150%. Uh, this can be used as a variable. Mm. Three uh, market cap dollar value float uh, value float dollar value uh, another cool variable would be Arval so Arval is something we discussed yesterday um, mm. and uh, we we kind of messed it up or we didn't have it correctly so that's another variable that's mm. another variable that I think would make a big difference is time as I mentioned above. I am on mm -hmm. Algo Scanner Task, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so our well in time, as I mentioned above. Uh, another thing is number six. Previous one uh, day previous lines we walk mm. oh remember the block value stuff that you used to do uh, you had a oh yeah the dollar block yeah dollar yeah block. yeah uh, by Sonic yeah that, those would be cool variables mm. uh, to look at number eight uh, previous day close of 60%. Number nine. What other variable would there be? Well, we talked about flow, dollar, we got that ready. Um, what else? Um, I wrote nine things. So those are variables that I think were really cool. Structure on prices, mm -hmm. like sometimes an example, uh, if we were to look at Tesla, this is a bit complicated, mm -hmm. but one thing, like you could see there's a, a structure that's happening between 8, 16, and 200. Mm -hmm. You see that? 817. Uh, give me one second. 817. Sorry, 217. 217 to 217? 217. Mm -hmm. uh, Tesla's daily chart. Uh, 217. Uh-huh. And the lower end range, it's like 190. Yeah, yeah, I see it. So one of the variables that i think would be really well mm -hmm. is, and we're working on it by the way is so most big traders successful traders they have uh geez my volume is going to be so bad so most successful traders have uh, their trades based off of the daily chart mm -hmm. um, so one thing that we're doing that we're adding to the liquidity event is we're saying the extension on the daily. So either we have to determine it's either going to be one month, two months, and 100% extension, 150% extension, or 200% extension. So right. Tesla is up 200% within a short period of time. If it goes right. above, uh, so we have to make the liquidity event on a daily level. Mm -hmm. Just as it did last time, like when I pushed the 217, like mm -hmm. prior to 217, 
Do you see how the high was? Uh, the high was two fourteen. No, not mm-hmm. two fourteen. Sorry. The high was two fourteen sixty six. The day before. So, mm-hmm. the algo liquidity event where it picks up is it picks up. Maybe in the past one week or one month, the high. If it goes above it, so if stock mm-hmm. is extended, let's say two hundred percent. And it makes it on the daily, on the daily level, it makes a new mm-hmm. high, but then it rejects it. It goes below mm-hmm. it. It closes at mm-hmm. uh, now we're up around the shift of six minutes. And then it closes mm-hmm. below that, and then it fades. Then it gives an alert. Those things you can add really, really aggressively to it on micro pops, mm-hmm. and they give a really good trade opportunity. Mm-hmm. So that's a liquidity event we haven't. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we have, uh, like, the idea has come up, and I think he's halfway there. Mm-hmm. But that's something we could do to enhance. Oh, another one is too up. Mm. Sorry, does that make sense, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, just look at the daily chart. chart. Uh, I do add, like, daily chart, like, variables. Like, like you said, like, extension from, like, uh, you know, a month to month. Uh, maybe weeks, maybe. Uh, yeah. So instead of doing a new, uh, new algo, I really mm-hmm. would like your help on this and making it better. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, track, yeah, this is within my area of expertise of okay. like AI and um, stats. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Are you, so these are the 10 variables if you want to make them. Um, dollar block, of course. Um, P stay close. I can get that. Uh, yeah. Let let, let me try and unlock dollar dollar block and P stay close, and then uh, cause I I I think I can do that. And then let me see volume profile, the acceleration of price action within the next few days. If a stock on average is moving twenty percent one day, to this can be used as a variable, right? So kind of like uh every day it's moving up like a greater amount than yesterday right so 20 percent to 30 percent to 40 percent that's acceleration of three days uh, market cap you have the uh, floats might be hard to get uh time yeah i think i think I see uh i can see what I, I can do um i i i i'm seeing two things right now that i can do uh pretty easily which is to maybe stay close to dog blocks and try to knock that out um and yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if float, so obviously this is not how you calculate the float, but if float is hard to get, another thought mm-hmm. to have is maybe just do uh, market at uh, the outstanding shares subtract institution. Outstanding shares minus institution. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Is that because that's, yeah, that... that's something easier to get or no? Um, I haven't looked into getting the uh, institution yet, but I know I'll stand sure it's easy to get, so that's good. Yeah, because yeah. I know float value is really tough to... Yeah, it's really it. tough, yeah, especially historically. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, so, uh, what's it called? Uh, do, do we usually have meetings, like, at, like, uh, 4.30? I just want to make sure, like, uh... I'm there, like, uh, if, if there's a meeting, then I set time aside for just to meet up and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Usually we meet awesome. up for a bit. Um, mm-hmm. The idea is to make it, like, really short and sweet so that mm-hmm. people continue about their way. Holy shit. So he found a profit factor of 1.73 and 1.57. So look at the algo scanner. Uh, mm, I'm looking at it. Oh, I see. The pop factor jumps to 1.75, but the number of trades are half. Uh, corrected the calculations for relative volume, so now... Ooh, nice! I'll go pretty high. Uh, all the other bars that came before it. The bar identifies this variable is very important. Yay, buddy! Yeah, mm. so I was telling him, man, our wall is very important, and, he, and he's like, oh, the AI is telling me saying that it's not. So, you know, I'm trying to stay open-minded. Right, but the calculation, yeah, now that you fix the calculation, now that it is important. 
Yeah, yeah, they're probably gonna have to jump back a reduce the amount. Yeah, that, that's actually. that's a big breakthrough. One point seven mm-hmm. profit factor, and this doesn't include adding to Linux. Did you mm-hmm. see me posting my uh, current uh, like my trading charts today? Today? Ah, uh, like on Twitter or? Yeah, yeah. Well, this this oh. algo is gonna fucking kill it. If it can do a one point seven three profit factor without adding to Linux. I'm gonna fucking. I mean, I don't have to even judge that too. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be like two point. Inshallah, it's gonna be two point five. Yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. This is exciting. Let me check it out. Yeah. Super duper duper check. duper exciting. Mhm. It did on. Oh, uh, hmm? That is hot. Yeah. Uh, what's the chart? Uh, L H D X. That thing that. Uh, what's it called? I, I guess which chart are you talking about? I feel like you posted like some some charts today. Can I say that again? Uh, uh, I, I, I was wondering what, what chart were you, you were referring to, uh, on your Twitter. I was just, I just, I was just uh, talking about the concept. Uh, ah, I see, this, I see. Like this algo does. So you you've been there for the first algo, right? You've seen <laughs> my mindset on like adding to winner. Is, yeah, you know, we made really, yeah. Added to it like really good. Times. Now imagine if we combine this on this, because this doesn't have add to winner. Yeah. So I'm just like a bit psyched internally, which is really really cool. Oh, this, look at this profit factor. It's one point eight four. Okay, let's see. One one other nice setup I found is based on two criteria: minimum gain sixty percent based on candle IBS. What's IBS? Uh. Or well, is lower. So he was trying to is lower. In his thing, I don't believe in IBS. Uh, it's basically just when it closes lower. Uh, I see. But the IBS means close lower. I'll explain it after. Uh, okay, I'll, okay. I'll pull it up. It's in the GitHub. Basically, oh, right. I, I believe what it's saying is, if it just closes really low, in comparison to. I see. Uh, so if it like. If a candle pushed up, a 15 minute candle is extended, and liquidity event happens and then it closes much lower, like the odds of mm-hmm. reclaiming is low. Mm-hmm. On the other nice setup I found is uh, Algo just based on two criteria. Break down candle IBS is lower than 0.25. This figure is one. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's clean, and it also has a like, gorgeous sample as well. Yeah, I think we can refine like these these two algos, and like even work with like adding to your like, positions. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. The other guys really don't good. know about the other algo, so just uh, keep it mm-hmm. on the low. Mhm. Ah, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, this this one. Wow. Insane profit factor. Minimum two candles close above the previous high. We are also not breaking the previous high. Also, we can do the same candle. 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 Oh my god, that's so hot. We enter the anchor view up. Um, for the envelope, we can just take the key off. What did we go through? An AI and determine.
Man, architect, I have mm -hmm. something to thank uh, a friend of mine for. Architect is very organized. A friend of mine told me that I'm not organized, and he told me this at my party. He was a successful guy, and when I saw architect, oh. how architect mm -hmm. rolls, like he's very kind and kind. Of, he's the opposite mm. of how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how, how, how has he organized certain things? Uh, so it's almost organization in terms of like this, this, this is gonna happen by this date, this date, this date. And mm -hmm. you've seen his GitHub, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so he's just yeah, it's very yeah, it's very easy to walk through and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also like keeps his timeline very. Maybe it's just his habit. He enjoys it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I added the ink as well. Generating them now. Awesome. Okay, this is super duper exciting. I'm very, very excited mm. for this. Mm. Very, very excited for this. Uh. So one of the other things, uh, Bro Hanek, is when he's done, he's gonna mm -hmm. print out. Um, did you get a chance to open the Google Drive file? Um, the Google Drive. I don't think I got a chance to open that. Uh, do you send it over? Uh, no, it's in the. Oh, uh, the uh, Algo scanner. Algo scanner. Yeah. Oh, but I don't you, think I got a chance to open it. Yeah, you don't have to uh, do that one. But he's going to send a new one. So mm -hmm. the 1.74 profit factor, 1.8 profit factor, it's going to mm -hmm. have a... By the way, do you hear an echo or is that just me? Um... When I talk. Uh, not... Uh, it's not too bad. Okay. Not too bad, yeah. Just uh, a small... Yeah, no? Yeah, small, right? I think yeah, it's, it's not it's not that it's, it's not like bad to put where I can't hear you. So I, I, it's 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 doable. It's okay. like it's good. Yeah. yeah. I have a voice modification. I'm gonna see if I can change it. Hmm. Hear myself. Testing, testing. Can you hear me still? Mm hmm. I'm okay. good. Yeah, I think it removed it. Mm. Apparently, there's a button that says "hear myself." That's pretty weird. Hmm. Anyway, long story short, he's gonna send the pictures for the one that's like a 1.8 profit factor. Uh, where it's gonna be divided. It's one folder is gonna have the good trade, the other folder is gonna have the bad trade. And our mm -hmm. job as traders, and especially you're gonna really value add in this aspect, is you will go through the bad uh, charts and you will see mm -hmm. if you see, go through both. Like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the pictures of the good and the bad. I'm going to start with the bad. And I'm going to see if there's a rule I can introduce to make it much better. Right. That makes sense. And mm -hmm. uh, if we can, that's awesome. Um, and uh, then we'll go to the good and just basically try to make it an incremental improvement. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um... Well, when he sends the, the Google Drive, I'll, I'll take a look at uh, those files to see, like, if there's any I new ideas to avoid the losers and all this stuff. Yeah, okay. And by the way, this is the algo scanner room. So he said, all the was calculated on the average oil and candle where previous high of the day was broken. The image above within the last two candles in the blue line across divided by the average oil and candle in the previous in the previous with all of them. I experimented with Arval experiment one one for the first couple of years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know who is the small cut, but in my trading experience bigger cap. Okay. 
reopen. Looking forward to pictures. I am on the police with Tommy. And we are going to look for the so bro, how are we gonna act as learners? There's two aspects. The one secret in algo that we had. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm recording a little bit. So I don't want to talk too much about it. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's kind of cool to record the journey. This mm-hmm. is some some pivotal stuff uh, for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe you can help us. Oh wow! Uh, Look at those charts. But the other thing, the way we're going to add to uh, Winner is anchored mm-hmm. rebuff from the liquidity event level, which I right, think is super right. duper, which might be useful. Mm-hmm. Well, I see the results for the R ball. Seems like the higher the R ball is, uh, let me see. It seems like the higher the profit factor, but it comes at the cost of how the profit curve looks. Because like, you look at the last one, the, uh, the highest of one for our ball, like it looks kind of uh, choppy, whereas like the first chart is, is a bit, it's still linear in the fact that like uh, they can draw a line through it. Uh, uh, so he picked the third one. Oh, the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the third one. So 1.5. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. Because it has 3,500 samples. Yeah. Which one do you like better, the fourth one or the third one? Uh, I'm looking at the fourth and third right now, and it, it seems like. Well, the profit factor is definitely higher on the fourth one. Uh, let's see the... Yeah, that one's Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Wait, but, but the total return is higher for the third one. Yeah. But the problem with this... I, is I guess it's changed more. This is for yeah. five years. In five years, there's... Like, how many trades are we going to get? Well, the third one gets like about 3,500, where the fourth one gets about uh, close to 3,000. If we have 253, that's third by 3. 3,000. So 3,500 divided by. Uh, 3,500 divided by 2,024. So we're only gonna get like 1.7. We're gonna get two trades per day. Hmm. Yeah, same. We're gonna get about two trades per day, which is pretty mm-hmm. good because this does not include the other val- the daily chart method that we're mm-hmm. doing. And mm-hmm. honestly, man, we just need like one, two. You're gonna fucking kill yeah. it. Yeah. You're gonna fucking kill it, mate. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited, bro. I'm so fucking excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> You know, the, after trading for freaking 14 years or whatever the heck, how long it's been, mm-hmm. a good trader trades less. <laughs> That's what you're uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you wait just for the A plus, like we just wait till mm-hmm. the scanner pops in and then we smash it. Oh, we'll yeah. mm-hmm. so that was going to be very good. Good luck. We talked yesterday. I think Fagner started with me. Kind of you are awesome, brother. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be massive. It's gonna be crazy, man. Yeah. Dang! Oh, I'm so hyped. Yeah. I'm almost. I feel like. I don't even wanna post. I said I would post a journey. And this is happy and excitement. 
Mm. Um, yeah. Should I put it on YouTube? Ah. Uh, <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I think I think so. Actually, yeah, so so you see, I feel like I it doesn't uh what's it called? You put it now or later? Like it, it doesn't um I guess the timing of it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me just pause it. As long as the journey is recorded, I think okay. that's good. Okay, amigos, I hope this was uh, beneficial. Crazy, I feel super duper hyped. Uh, I'm very happy. And this, it may seem like just one day, two days of work, but I've been at it for 16 months trying to create the algo. This is the second algo. I've gone through 14, 16 developers. Um, has not been an easy journey, but hopefully it pays off. But again, for the past, there's been four or five times that I thought I had the algo thing figured out. The profit factor was like 2.5, and it always like it always turned out to be wrong or custom fitted, beta fitted, all that jazz. Uh, so. Don't count the chicken until it's hatched, and uh, I'm gonna go look through the charts. Uh, if you made it this far, click like, click subscribe because it means you enjoyed it. The other aspect is uh, if you are a seven figure trader and you are outside of the USA and you want a place where it's basically cheaper than retail trading and you want to be around uh, like-minded traders and there's there's about six to eight uh, traders in the platform most of the guys are seven figure traders um, and uh, we want to expand a bit maybe there's after three to five new, new guys will probably stop because we don't want to create a new resource uh, the variables are uh, commission is point zero zero three zeros and six so it's like 90 percent cheaper than uh, normal retail uh, locate situation you get 25 percent discount and you pay what you use so if you borrow 50k shares and you want to use uh you use 10k then you only pay for the 10k uh 90 percent payout ratio uh and that's about it uh I'm trying to see what I can think of. Oh, CDI was pushing for after hours. Uh, yeah, if also if there's a way that uh, if you've done algos and you're a full-time algo trader, or ideally if you are, if you've managed um, algos and seven figure plus, uh, reach out to me on Twitter. Let me know what's up. And that's all. Have a wonderful day. There's another, there is another algo that I'm working one over. There's a short mm -hmm. squeeze. There's another one called the short squeeze. Short squeeze algo. Short squeeze mm. algo. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking I, I, about. I, I We've talked about it before, right? Have we? Say? We've talked about the short squeeze algo. Uh, I think we mentioned it at, at one point, but I don't think we uh, ever like um, dove too deep into it. Okay. Uh, shit. Fuck. CDIO was a short squeeze. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. It would have wound at like 3 and added like 10 times. You wanna see? Oh my god, the chart. Fuck. Remember the first algo that we're working on? Mm hmm. I'll send you a screenshot. The modified view album, right? Yeah. It would have it yeah. would have made like 150 200 RR. Look at oh it. shit. All all fucking bro, it's so fucking basic. It's just add to winner and a trail stop. Look at this. Literally from three dollars just goes all over. Oh my god. Mm. <gasps> anyway. Baby steps, baby steps. Yeah. Baby steps. Okay, bro, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, mm -hmm. The next step, unless the other thing you want to do, 
Uh, um, I, I actually had to uh, pick up my brother in like six minutes okay. uh, from school. But uh, what's it called? Um, I was uh, I I think I'll be here for uh, what's it called the next the next few the next meetings like uh what's it called uh, four p.m. four thirty p.m. EST. Um, I'll, I'll be I'll be there at, uh every meeting. So I think we can if, if um I guess is it is it something that you want to discuss? I think we can uh, nail no, that. No, the only thing is just download the Google Drive the Google Drive pictures mm-hmm. that we sent, and mm-hmm. then whenever you're bored, just scroll through them. And, like you can open it as a photo. And you can see all the mm-hmm. tools in the bag. So, likely yep. he sent the 1.8 yep. profit factor. And yep. uh, yeah, we, meetings are not that important. It's just a recap, whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's going to help your trading, but this Google Drive is going to help the algo make it better. So, all of a sudden, mm-hmm. we'll mm-hmm. that's all. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Bye, right, man. I'll see you. Take Thanks care. Okay, bye bye. Alrighty, amigos, so, yep, quick little video, um, if it makes it the video, awesome, click subscribe, and like, <laughs> I was gonna say post notification, but it doesn't matter, do it, if it hopefully this stuff is beneficial to you guys, um, I love helping, and if it makes a difference in somebody's life, and, uh, it benefits them, but, and make them happy. So, take care, amigos. Have a wonderful day.